I'm gonna go to work, be miserable for 10 or 12 hours. I wanna sleep really bad. What? What is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode. It is an exciting moment, an exhausting but exciting moment. Tonight we are going to start fiberglassing the pond. So if you watched the last episode, if you didn't, go watch it now. But uh, we got all the foam up, everything is completely ready for fiberglass. But the problem is it's way hot here. So we, I don't know, during the day it's too hot to fiberglass basically. It sets up too fast. So we are going to try to pull an all-nighter tonight and do it. But I've been working all week. I've already worked 50 hours this week. But we're going to stay up all night tonight, pull an all-nighter, do as much as we can. And then i got to go to work tomorrow. And if I'm feeling good enough, we'll do more tomorrow night and try to get it finished up this weekend. But I'm exhausted. We've been up late working on this all week. So we will see how it goes. But you can see we got all the fiberglass supplies. we got our resin, brushes, rollers. we got all our chop strand mat over there. And uh, like I said, we're doing this at night. So... I got some lights and stuff we're going to set up, but they're LED lights, I don't know how it's going to look on video, so bear with me if the lighting is really bad, but we're going to start getting this all ready to go, and I'll explain what we're doing as we go, so let's see. Alright, so, well, first of all, if I didn't mention before, this is the first time I've ever done fiberglass, so quite the undertaking to do for my first time, but I've researched it a lot, and it seems doable, so hopefully everything goes good, but okay, so this is our chop strand mat. We are using two layers of 1.5 ounce mat, so it's pretty thick stuff. <clears throat> and then we will gel coat over that. So two layers of this, and then sand it down smooth, and then probably two to three layers of gel coat over the top. So what we're doing now is we're cutting it to preset lengths. So let me show you over here real quick. See, so especially since I'm new at this, I want to make it as easy on myself as possible, so I'm cutting it to just about, that rolls 60 inches wide, so I'm just cutting it in half, so 30 inch sections, because I figure that's manageable for somebody that's new to fiberglass. And it gives me a little bit of overlap on the bottom, a little bit on the top, and then 30 inches wide. So I'll cut all the pieces we need to go all the way around the pond, just like this, and then we'll cut the bottom pieces and we'll keep everything in stacks separate so it's just kind of ready to go for us so we are going to finish cutting all these up we're still waiting for the cinder block to cool down and it's too hot so we're going to finish cutting these up and then as soon as it cools down we're going to paint down a base coat so pretty much just one coat of resin over the foam and stuff just to prime it so it's not soaking in too much resin when we hit it with the cloth and then we'll let that cure for a couple hours maybe a little bit more however long it takes and then we'll come back and start laying the first thing of that. We got all our pieces cut here. There's fiberglass everywhere. We are an itchy mess. All our pieces for the first layer, at least, pre-cut. And then we got this all vacuumed and cleaned out. So we're gonna get that first primer layer on and then we'll let that dry and we'll go from there. So start mixing up some resin.
Yep. All right, so we got the first layer painted in. It's just a little bit tacky now, so I think we're ready to put on the first layer of fiberglass. And uh, I'm sure anybody that's wanting to do fiberglass already knows, but if you don't, the fumes are crazy strong. They're potent. It makes your eyes water when you're down in there, so you got to make sure you have ventilation. It's turned off right now, but we have the vents open and stuff. It's just too loud for the videos. And then we got this fan running when we're doing it, and then the front doors are open. So we try to have as much ventilation as we can, but it is still really strong. And uh, I don't know, it's probably going to be a horrible YouTube video. I'm pretty delirious. So yeah, let's figure out what we got to do to start putting on the fiberglass, I guess. Kind of got our butt kicked by this. So if you guys are doing fiberglass for your first time, I see why a lot of people recommend not to, because it is very difficult. And even in the middle of the night, the temperature of the actual block never got below like probably 84. So the resin was setting up really quick, but we got all the walls done and around the window done, one layer all the way to like there. So we didn't even finish one layer tonight. And I've got to go home and shower and then leave to work in like 45 minutes. So we're going to have to come back tonight and try to finish what we can. But uh, yeah, definitely not the easiest job in the world, but I'm still glad we did it. So I'm going to go to work, be miserable for 10 or 12 hours, and then uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, so I went to work today, got home, got a few hours of sleep, and we are back at it tonight. So everything we did yesterday is set up pretty good. Everything's looking good, but uh, now that we have a routine, I think it'll go a lot better. I think we kind of know what we're doing. Last night was mostly experimentation, and we were doing the window and around the pipes and all the hard stuff. So now we're going to finish this, and then finish the floor on the first coat, let that set up, and if things go good, we'll do the second layer tonight too. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hot, and we're both tired, but it's going good enough. We're not getting as much video as we'd hope, like talking and explaining as we go. But I'll try to get something tonight. Last night was kind of just a panic to get it done. So we'll see what we can get. But let's get this done. Okay, so here we go, finishing up the first layer. We ended up just mixing up a quart at a time after this with the temperatures we had. We figured out that was working pretty good. You'll also notice the paint tray is sitting on some two by fours to keep it up off of the concrete. The concrete was too warm. It was causing all of it in the tray to set up really fast. So putting it up on those two by fours actually helped a lot. So basically we take it, we wet out the area that the one section of mat is gonna go, and then you stick the mat to it. I figured out if I just paint a strip at the top like that, it helps hold it on so it's not falling off. And then I can get the rest lined up. This one I kind of screwed up because I tried to mess with it after I got it wet and it caused a bunch of wrinkles and ended up being a pain. So I do not recommend doing that. Just get it set right the first time and be done with it. But uh, yeah, you get it on there and then you just basically put a ton of resin on it. You don't want to be like dripping and stuff, but you want the mat to be completely saturated. So you just keep painting on resin until it's saturated and then you can go through and work out any wrinkles or bubbles. If you do have bad wrinkles or bubbles or like weird spots, saturate it and then leave it for a second, work on something else and come back to it. Cause after it completely soaks in, the mat like becomes liquid and a lot easier to work with. So right here you can see I have the fiberglass roller. It's just a little metal roller I bought specifically for this and it works out the bubbles. So you can see I'm working out that wrinkle right there after it sat for a minute. And then I go over all the seams with this, make sure there's no bubbles or no problems. And then any areas I can see bubbles or lumps, go over it and smooth it all out. And that is basically the process. It's really not too complicated, but you got fumes in your face the whole time you're doing this. It's hard, it's setting up super fast. 
it is not as easy as it looks but it is definitely doable for anybody that wants to give it a try so here we go painting on the rest of it and we will get this layer all finished up and you can see how we do it First layer is completely done and it went way better this time so I think we really got in our routine of things we figured out what we're doing it's not an experiment anymore so not so bad but I will say the bottom was tough to do because of the fumes it wasn't horrible but like the fumes rise up right in your face I'm not sensitive to fumes I've done a lot of like painting and polyurethane and stuff and it was making my eyes water so if you are gonna do this something like this yourself make sure you have a lot of ventilation and probably just get a respirator it's worth it but uh yeah, so we took a break, let that set up for a couple hours, and then we got all this cut for the second layer. So all our pieces cut how we want them. And then, uh, I don't know, i got to be honest, I'm having trouble thinking of things to say because I'm half awake, half awake. <laughs> I don't know, I've slept like three hours in the last two days, I think. But yeah, so i got to go sand out some rough spots. Oh yeah, I probably should mention too, with resin, there's two different types. There's waxed and unwaxed. So if it's waxed, it will cure completely hard and it needs to be sanded before you put another coat on. Unwaxed, the surface will stay just slightly tacky so you don't have to sand it to put another coat on. But that's what this is, this is unwaxed so I don't have to sand it, I'm just gonna sand out a couple little rough spots like where fibers are sticking up or big mat of fibers are sticking up and then we will get going on the second coat though. So pretty simple but I'm happy it's going good and I'm really tired. o'clock in the morning and we just finished the second layer so that's all wrapped up we are gonna let this sit take a break and then and by take a break I mean for probably two days get some sleep and then we will come back and gel coat the whole thing so I want to sleep really bad back of the greenhouse the fiberglass is all set up Everything's looking really good. So we are gonna get ready to put on the gel coat. We'll probably do two coats, I think, maybe three, just depending on what we need. So we're gonna hit it with the orbital sander. I don't need a perfect finish, but I want it decent. So I'm gonna go over it with 120 grit sandpaper, and then I'm gonna come back and hit it with 220 grit sandpaper just to smooth it off a little bit, wash it all down or wipe it down with acetone, and then get going on the gel coat. So let's get her done. Okay, so we gave it a quick sand, everything's good you can actually run your hands on it now without getting slivers everywhere so we're gonna get the acetone wipe it down real quick and then we will be ready for gel coat so I'm excited can't wait all right so she's all ready obviously we have started gel coating 
it's kind of hard to see because I'm like out here, but this stuff is like probably the consistency of honey. Maybe a little less thick than that, but pretty close to the consistency of honey. So we're just rolling it on, laying it on pretty thick. I kind of just slap it all over, get a ton on there. And then I come back, roll over here, and then come back once it's setting up. Just go over and smooth it out. So you can see this is what it looks like. It is looking pretty good, I think. But uh, it's real hot in here, it's real fumy. I'm pouring sweat. And uh, yeah, we want to hurry and get this done. Look at that, get a, a close-up of the sweat. I'm dying. We got the first coat all done. We let it set up overnight. So it's been about 24 hours. We're gonna get ready to do the second coat, but I am super happy with how it turned out. It's all smooth and glossy. Everything's all solid. I think it looks really good. I'm getting really excited. So yeah, basically we didn't add surface. What? Sorry, we didn't add surfacing agent to uh, this batch. So we don't need to do too much surface prep. There's a few spots where I can like feel that something stuck to it and dried. So there's a little pokey spot or something. So I'm gonna go just sand down any rough spots that I feel and then uh, we'll be ready to go. I'll probably wipe it all down with acetone again just to make sure it's clean because it's real dusty and dirty in here. So get her all cleaned up and then we will start on the second coat and we will be done, guys. We'll be done with the fiberglass. I'm so ready to be done with the fiberglass. You will never understand. Never been more ready to be done with anything right. in my life. I'm ready. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'm readier than hell. Yep, 27. gel coat it's all set up we let it set up overnight again and uh, I think it is plenty I don't think we need a third coat so it all looks super good it's all very smooth I'm super happy about it and uh, you can see here where we went around the pipes that's my biggest concern on the leak point so I'm hoping this bonded to the pipes really good but I sanded them and I don't know I think it is good but biggest concern right there so this is it. It's all done. Thank you guys for watching us fiberglass it. It has been horrible and I hope to never have to do it again, but I'm really glad it's done. And now we got the window showing up here really soon. After we get that in, we're going to start the plumbing and everything. And then we will literally have water in here in no time. It is going to be so awesome. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Watch because we got cool videos coming up. And I don't know, don't you want to see some cool fish in here? Keep watching to see them.